How are you today? I hope you know you're important. Today we are going to take packing paper and we're going to um, make a cover out of it. So um, what I have is packing paper. I have some tie back, which we're just going to put on for the spine to give it a little bit more strength, you know. And then I have some paints we are going to do. I have, this is all unicorn spit. Um, I believe you can get it at Michael's. This is Navajo Jewel. Um, this one is Basitin, Copper, and Rose Gold. So as of right now, these are what I'm gonna use on this, and I'm just gonna paint it, see where it goes. And let's have some fun. All right, so the first thing that I do here is make sure I have the right size for the centerpiece. Um, I do a quick cut and then I, to get a straight edge, then I go over, then I cut the edge edges of this tie back to make sure that um, I have the right size. And then I set it aside for until I get to that point, which will be further down in the um, video. The next step I do is shake this unicorn spit really, really good. And see, I have very little on there. A little goes a very long way with Unicorn Spit. It's very concentrated. It's actually designed for doing woodwork. Um, and I, I like to use it for paper. Um, but you have to make sure you should get it really good shake. And then get some water. And there you go. It glides on really nice. Um, I switch between the two colors of the blues and just basically coat while I go and I make sure I have um, enough water because that's the one thing that helps expand it. And it does dilute it just a little, which is fine. Um, I like the variation of these colors together, um, and some some are brighter than others, some are lighter than others, and that's what the difference is between the water and the um, how much water you use when doing this. So there I go taking the, I'm cleaning off the surface right now, but I had a heat gun on there to try and dry it. Um, and now I'm adding different coloring to it. And because of the crinkle in it, it just, it gives it a good effect. Like it hits that portion. And I have no rhyme or reason of how I'm doing it. I'm just kind of going at it. Um,
so I just vary on which paint I'm using between the rose gold and the copper. And the copper is more pronounced, the rose gold is very um, soft, so you can't see it as well. And then um, to add some more texture to it, I grab some um, Distress Oxide Spray and I just spray some on there. This is blue that I spray and um, I dry it and, and then I just keep layering and adding more on. Okay, so we have a base here with Unicorn Spit, um, some Distress Oxide, and then I used some white gesso and mixed it with the copper. And that's how I got this stuff. So now we're gonna go in with stamps and um, decorate it a little bit more. Okay, so I have different shades of Distress Oxide I'm pulling out and um, black archival ink. And then I'm grabbing an array of different stamps and some stencils. So I'm starting with this stamp and I'm just kind of rubbing and getting this ink all over it so I can just stamp it on here. It's very light and it just gives it an extra texture. And then I'm going in with um, a blue color oxide. I cannot remember the name of it. And just decorating the lumber. It's very light. You can't really see it. And I'm going in with Vintage Photo and adding these little swirl textures to it. Which I think that is what brings it, you know, adds more character to this piece. And so I do do a couple of numbers like that. And then I go around and see what I like. And then I go and add more if I want to add more or add less. Um, so I am deciding to add some more, some stamps to it. These are like little postage stamps. And then I'm adding a little bit more of, the, of that um, big stamp. Now I have another stencil that I will um, be using Distress Oxide with because I think the oxide really makes it pop some. I'm doing a little bit of pink. Um, and just adding stuff here or there to finish it off. Okay, so I have some papers, book pages to collage with, and then these. So let's flip this over, and we are just going to rip and put down. But first, I want to um, make sure I have my... Where am I? There we go. I'm going to add that right there.
Oh, that's too many for Here we go. Makes it way more better, but still like a softer cover.